everyone, and firstly, thank you very much for having us to this wonderful event. I am Imogen Dunham Price. I'm working for the IMOCA class as the Sustainability Management. IMOCA is the class of the 60-foot monoholes. They go around the world either solo, double, or crude in races like the Vendée Globe or the Ocean Race. The class governs the rules which are around the performance, the security, and the social equity. In recent years, we've put in place sustainability as our fourth pillar. One aspect which has really intrigued the class in recent years are our sails. They allow us to be propelled around the world with wind power. But at the same time, they're consumables and they have a very high impact. This impact is for one set of sails, which is eight sails on board in a mocha, is seven tons of CO2. So the class decided to put in place a green sail rule. A green sail rule which would combat this impact. And how we did it? Well, we worked meticulously with the cell makers to be able to work on, through life cycle assessment, the hotspots. Hotspots which we identified were waste, transport, and energy. Waste, because for one kilo of sales, there were six kilos of waste being produced. Energy, because there were very few cell makers using renewable energy within production. Transport, because train, uh, plane travel was already used within the raw material production. We went on to then, uh, we identified these three areas as being real uh, threats to biodiversity. One, because there was land use being used, resources like non-renewable resources being um, driven up, and emissions being produced and so on. Today, the green cellar rule has already allowed us to reduce emissions by 20% for every kilo of sale which is produced. But we don't intend to stop there. We intend to delve further into circularity into um, any development on new materials, and of course, into longevity, allowing us to be able to put in place a green sail label, which won't just work for offshore sail makers, but will work for the whole industry, so for any sports which use sails. And this certification will, be allow, will allow us to assure science-based practices within um, sail making, so that each sail maker will be able to reduce their impact cohesively and we'll be able to progress together. By doing this, sail makers will be able to have an intuitive adaptation and innovation towards their production, allowing them to reduce emissions, protect resources, and of course, be able to protect biodiversity as a whole. We want to do this so that our sport can go further. We want to be able to go around the world. We want to be able to sail on lakes. We want to be able to use industry in a way which works with nature. Thank you very much. Thank you, Emogad. And now, time for the questions. Donna, go first. Yes, I have a question. Um, the sails, the green sails. I mean, each skipper and each boat, each sponsor for each class um, can choose their producer. So how can you, how, you know, how is your approach to, uh, to, to apply to make this rule to become a reality and maybe not just for one sail, but maybe for all of the sails? So the idea is that we want to work towards a certification. It will be a score-based system that um, cell makers can use so that they have a goal of having a certain impact when they produce sales. At the moment, we work on it with our three areas, which is waste, transport, and energy. The cell makers have to reach a certain score for their sales to be considered as green. This then can apply for all the sales. We intend to integrate the other elements, which are circularity, longevity, and different materials in the coming years, so that this can be a real evolutionary process and we can have a full uh, certification uh, grid. So how much have you engaged already with uh, sport events and sport organization? So as this has been going on for um, six months, we've been working already with five leading cell makers. So that's North, All Purpose, Incidents, One Cell, and Quantum. Um, our sales um, have come into place this year, in January 2023. Each Amoka skipper must carry on board at least one green sail, and that means that they can uh, carry them across all of the events. So during the ocean race at the moment, there are skippers which have a green sail on board. We have another race at the moment which is called the Bermude Mill, and we have a selection of different skippers as well um, with their green sails on board. These sails are excellent already because they've already got a 20% uh, reduction in, in terms of their emissions, and so they're proving that they can maintain performance with ecological impact. 
Radhika, you can go quickly. Yeah, just quickly to share, how do you verify your 20%? What does that process look like? Who does that? So we do this through a score-based system. We work with life cycle assessment. So all the sale makers give forward their data, which then we analyze and review, and then we base it on the score. 